Tick tock on your old clock to that beat we rock. Signals from cell to cell compel my chest to swell. The origin of them is in the brainstem, destination diaphragm, driven by the rhythm, lungs heave and let me breathe. At the mid cervical spine, call it the neck, that's fine. It's a critical junction of the pulmonary function. There's a special type of nerve, we call it phrenic, let's spell it P H R E N I C. It's the key to how we breathe. So what we want to know is how in the embryo stem cells can grow ripe for the phrenic subtype. How the motor neuron progenitor becomes a critical connector from the central pattern generator to the diaphragm or ventilator. Transcription factors are the actors that matter amid the cellular chatter. These logic gates dictate which genes become expressed as proteins determining a cell's fate. A scientists already know all of this, but let me persist. The goal of this paper is to label the main genetic entity that determine phrenic identity. Starting at the top we got Notch. It spans a membrane and its role in the game is to pick up signals from local ligands. So we got the beginning of a chain, a cascade of chemical change. Once this pathway's begun, they come alive. PAL 3 F1 and HOX F5, they make thrive. Production of coherence that bring cohesion in the extracellular medium with their calcium ion adhesion. Oh, you want the name of them? Okay, then it's CDH10 or PCDH10. Their receptors muster the phrenic cluster. So we know a little something about the phrenic nerve's formation, but not so much about its later maturation. As the axons grow long across the thorax, but always holding on to the myoblast that becomes a diaphragm. In this real-life environment, they encounter many more cues that are spatially diffuse and help a young cell choose its adult destiny for phrenic identity. And this is where we need more clues. If we could somehow make grow in vitro a complete neuromuscular circuit and learn how to work it, maybe we could beat more than neuron disease. Or at least, if we can, try to understand a little more of how we breathe. Okay, so let's big up the team. The original vision was conceived and seen by the man that can't even leave a ram. And we can handle this. Masses of data and its analysis, thanks to the statistical wonk, the math master, Eric Blanc. But this paper really is the daughter of its lead author. She ought to come and take a bow, step out of the shadow, Dr. Carolina Barcelos Pichardo.